Hey, Shabri here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today, I want to go a little bit deeper into something that I mentioned in a previous video regarding early education and curriculum that I use with my three-year-old. And that is the good and the beautiful pre-K um, curriculum. So let's dive right in. <music> pre-k good and beautiful curriculum for wow just the entire school year at this point so actually we did not delve into this in august i began with some of the other resources that i've shared in previous videos and then about two months into the year i was like um let me try something that's a little bit more structured and laid out in an easy to you know easy to use um, sort of fashion that may be good for my three year old. And so this is what I stumbled upon, and this is what I researched and decided that we wanted to give a try. So what they do for the Good and the Beautiful curriculum is if you go to their website, you're able to take um, or give your children an assessment so then you can see whether or not um, they place in pre-K, the pre-K primer, or, or for any grade level because um, they do go, I want to say all the way through 12th grade, um, but it was easy to do, easy to kind of gauge based on knowing my child and just asking him the questions or just knowing right offhand where he should be placed. So I wanted him to get the best foundation ever, not to make it difficult on him by saying like, he knows all these things, he can do this, let's go skip right ahead to X, Y, Z. I think this was a really great start. So it can give your child a review. Um, it can be a good just like foundation to begin on, but here's where we are. So it says that it does letters and sounds, vowels, numbers, colors, motor skills, sorting, matching, and rhyming. And indeed, we do each of those things. What I think I really love about this is that for us, it also includes um, studies, you know, um, that, that reference just being a believer. It doesn't go deep into scripture or anything of that nature, but it does just make sure that it gives a re really good um, kind of reference point to all things that are beautiful because um, the Lord has blessed us with, with them and with this earth. So it gives you a great deal of information like about this course and how to get started, items that they want you to have on hand, any extra items needed, which are generally just really things like a flower, which some, most of these things are even optional, clothespin, cotton balls, um, pieces of cold cereal, um, and, and dried beans, so on and so forth. But it tells you lesson by lesson um, what which items you will need so it's really helpful along the way and it tells you you know about if you think you should do a lesson each day and the time spent with a child which is just completely you know dependent upon you and your child it gives you helpful hints the activity packet these flip books that go along with it that give you um, just different letters so A, and then all you want to do is your child, you know, will match A to A, and then they'll come over here to the picture, and they'll figure out like, oh, what goes with A? Alligator. And you go through these flip books um, in various lessons just to go through recognition of uppercase and lowercase letters, and identifying what um, different things to begin with the letters, as well as the sounds they make. I think that's been really crucial, really helpful, and something that, I mean, I would have researched maybe and found, but wouldn't have thought of otherwise. They split this course book um, into different units, and it has lots of different activities along the way. Um, matching, sorting, coloring. I really love, honestly, how it even breaks down the difference between lowercase b and lowercase d because come on you know you're three that's confusing right so it gives you good um good kind of recaps on those along the way as well it reiterates the information as you go and i've just found it to be very helpful and i'm just appreciating the skills that you know look by m he's like i'm on the line right and then match the first letter lots of different activities that are all right here and very specific curriculum along the way has a vowel song to go with it they have other resources to go with it um, and I just find it to be very helpful I 
took out and and you know cut out all the different things before we began just to make it easier on myself and I just latched them you know together with a clothespin for instance this is hide and seek pets and in this activity what you do is place um, three little pets behind an item that may be like this a sofa and it has the letter F on it lowercase f they can they go through and identify this by playing the game saying oh F F says you know f -f -f, and this is a lowercase f and then they pick it up it is you know the dog or the cat or the turtle behind the f and it's just fascinating to see how exciting um elijah gets as he goes through these things g go, go. yes no. D. Go, go. No. <laughs> The mouse house game, swat the fly, all these other games um, that are just excellent that um, you can reuse. You go through and you pick, say what the number is, number slider. These are things that, you know, I, I hear him and it makes him feel like a big boy. But um, just the different things that he goes through. Feeding the elephant peanuts based on letter um, association and sounds. There's so many great things to this curriculum. Um, that I feel like have been extremely helpful for us, especially because at this time, you know, we're navigating a pandemic and whether we are or we are not, I feel like this curriculum will be great, but it's just been helpful because they also have a one-year-old who, you know, needs attention and is doing different activities and different things. But sometimes he sits with us and he wants to go through these things as well. Um, but I can also pass along these fun games to him or I've learned so much through journeying through the curriculum with him that I know what I'm also able to share with um, the one year old that's coming up right behind him. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time chatting about it. I hope that gave you a really good kind of background regarding this curriculum, but I just wanna insert like the things that we do and how he kind of goes along um, a lesson for the day. Um, we really enjoy it. We also really enjoy eating. So there's probably some snacking in here. But um, I hope this was helpful and that you enjoy the clips as well. So we're on lesson 43. You think you're ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is count all of your fingers and then all of your toes. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Put your hands out. Then the other hand. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. You have the same amount of toes as you do fingers? Mm -hmm. Yes, high five. All right. Six. Good job there. All right, so now the next thing you're going to do is trace. Up and down. Uh, yes, down and up today. All right, so we're working on what letter? What is that? Lowercase? Lowercase B. B, lowercase B. Go ahead. You're going to follow the arrow down for one and then follow it up to. Good job. Keep going. Uh oh, start with one. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Put the penny on the table. Good job. Put the penny under the table. Is that under the table? <laughs> Good job. Now put the penny on your knee. Awesome. Now put the penny on top of your head. It's like a hat. Like a hat. Yes. Now put the penny on your wrist. Can you find it in all of this hair? Put it on your wrist. <laughs> oh. Here you go. What's that? Let me uh, have this one back. What's that now? A penny. That's not a penny. What a is nickel. that? A nickel. A nickel is worth how many cents? Five cents. Five cents. Good mm -hmm. job. Okay. The vowels are. The vowels are... Say it with me. A, E, I, 
O, o U and sometimes Y. y. Okay, let's check it out. Now we get to play Swap the Fly. What's that? What's are, that? Are you ready? What's that? What's what? Swap the Fly. Do you remember Swap the Fly? One, two. So we set up all of our all of our letters with the fly on it, right? Okay, what letter says What is that? Q. Q, swat it. Got him. <laughs> Got him. What letter says P, P, P? Where are you? What is what that? Is what is it? P. P, swat it. Got him. What letter says? I got him on here. What letter says a luff, 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 What is that? L. L, swat it. You swat it good. What letter says it? Nah, 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 nah. What letter is that? N. N. Trump. Yes. Okay. Ma, ma. Moose. Moose. Good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah moose. Don't. <laughs> okay, You actually trying to frightful. Frightful. Okay, you got him. You got him. You got him. Don't swap here. Don't swap here. What is this? Okay, now I'm going to read to you and you're going to complete the instructions, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, now I'm going to read to you and you'll complete these instructions. Let's explore the painting on this page. How many dogs are in the picture? Two. Three. Three. Good job. How many cats are in the picture? Just one. Just one, yes. The dogs are animals. The cat is an animal. How what is she doing? Oh, I don't know. So listen again. The dogs are animals. The cat is an animal. How many animals are in the picture? One, two, three, four. Good job. Four animals are in the picture. What if they don't? <laughs> what color is the cat? Uh, white. White. What two colors are the dogs? Black. Black and what other color do you see on the dogs? Black and black and red. Reddish brown, right? Yeah, red is brown. Yes. What color does brown start with? Uh, mm. Brown. B. B. Good job. Point to the dog's tail. 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 What color does, what color, what letter does tail start with? T. T. Good job. Point to the dog's paw. Yes. What letter does paw start with? P. P. Good job. He's my child, so it's time to get a snack. <laughs> Pretzels. Pretzels, okay. It's now, pretzel. we're going to name the vowels, okay? Remember how we said those the other day? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The vowel. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this curriculum or any other things out there that you found to be really helpful curriculums, please drop them below and let me know or just ask me any questions you may have regarding what I've shared and what you've seen and hopefully I can help you out. This is not sponsored. This is just something that I really found to be helpful for my little and I'm excited to continue to go and to grow through this journey. I think it's something that I would incorporate even if it was supplemental, say if we do, you know, decide to send him back to school and don't homeschool. Um, I think I've just found it to be really helpful in the learning process and something that gives him a, um, a bit of structure in his day um, and in his schedule and that more often than not for sure he looks forward to. Because I mean, of course, what kid would just, you know, would just rather watch TV or do something else, you know, and jump off of something. But again, let's chat below. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to sharing any more information I get with you all and to seeing where this journey leads us. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.